Don't make presentations like this. You can make them like this. As always, we're gonna start with a blank presentation and we're gonna throw in our favorite shape, the rectangle. We're gonna set this to gradient fill and that looks terrible. So we're gonna grab three cool colors and we're gonna make that into a new gradient. We're gonna throw in a 3D model of the Eiffel Tower. I'll drop a link in the description and make that way bigger. You'll see why in a little bit. We're gonna duplicate that slide. And we're gonna shrink the Eiffel Tower down, move the model a little bit, and we're gonna repeat that for a couple more slides, moving it down every time. Now we have to add in some words and we'll pick a cool font like Montserrat Black and that'll be our heading. We'll also add some thinner subtext. Once we have that, we just need to throw in a line, connect it up to that Eiffel Tower. To do that, we'll do shapes, line, and then we'll make it white. Increase that width just a little bit and change it from solid to cool dashes. We're gonna select all those and then we're going to group them together. And we'll use that across the rest of the slides. We'll copy it to the other side to get some balance, make some micro adjustments, and then just go crazy with it. We're gonna add three more to the next slide. Make those generally look aesthetically pleasing. And then again, do the same thing on the other slides. Always creating and paying attention to that balance that we want, so it just looks nice. That already looks really good. Now we just have to add in some extra visual flair. So we're gonna, again, add in a rectangle. We're gonna turn that 45 degrees, remove that fill and change their border color to white. Increase that width again, and then we're gonna duplicate it, move it all over. And this is really just to add some extra visual interest. So we're gonna repeat that and vary it slightly across all of the other slides. On these later slides, I feel like there's some empty space that we can utilize to do something different. So we're gonna throw in a picture of some delicious macarons. I love macarons. We're gonna line that so it makes them visually, and then make sure it's connected up to food. We're gonna repeat that with a couple more pictures. Going back to the beginning of the presentation, I feel like we need some sort of intro. So we'll grab a picture from Unsplash, link in the description, and we'll make that the width of the presentation. We'll go ahead and copy that. And this is so if we go to design format background, we can make the slide background that picture. And so we'll paste it from our clipboard. Now we can add in our intro words, merge and use a union. This makes them a shape that we can then fill with the slide background fill. So when we click slide background fill, it pulls in obviously from the background. It's a little bit hard to see. So we're also going to add some shadow to make it pop a little more. And now we have the fun job of moving a bunch of stuff off so that our morph transition will work like we want it to. You need to make sure that basically the element that you want on a slide is on the previous and on the next slide. So it morphs in and it morphs out. Finally, to add a nice little bookend, we're gonna take that same Eiffel Tower effect. We're gonna have that same picture again. We're gonna send it behind. This really rounds out the presentation. 